Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be transcending cards for this behemoth right here, good old Ash Crimson. And the reason I'm going to be doing this is one, because he is the strongest character that I have on my main account, and he's also an attack type fighter. Now we know that Shen Wu is also an attack type fighter. He's going to be a purple attack that's going to be coming up in the next up date so i kind of want to prepare these cards these only ua sit that we have available in the game for shen wu and on top of that we're just going to be able to strengthen good old ash as well now we're just going to be transcending his main 3pg and you can actually transcend both 3pgs and we're going to be transcending these cards now this is going to be one of those videos for all of you guys that maybe never have transcendent cars don't know exactly what to do and also just for a little entertainment value so you guys can see the suffering that you actually have whenever you try to do this so whenever you transcend cars you click on here and you would actually hold on to it and then you would click on transcend and you get some of these things called lucky spinners now we actually can acquire these babies uh, through like login events uh, you can actually buy them from the shop at times these here that I got I never bought them I actually got these through login or just through various events that the game has given us they don't give us them very often but these things actually increase your chances by quite a bit as far as the stats that you actually want so you wouldn't want to click this check on box if you don't have any luck and spinners then you cannot do that so we click on select materials and we're going to be using these now where do you get these babies well you get these through various events as well you can get these through kof passes but you can also get them through the power up dungeon so if you click on dungeon right here and you go into what's called the power up dungeon you go into the street operation here and then you would be able to start farming these babies at tier 11 if you click on here you can see that they do have these cars that actually can transcend other cars now you don't have to use these cars you can actually use other fest cars that will do the same thing as well so i'll show you guys an example of this so when we click on good old ash and we click on here we hold it down we hit transcend we click select materials we can actually use any of these cards as well these cards and any card that has a purple border for a fest car so what you want to do is you want to select these you want to always want to use these first and if you have any extra cards of this type then you would want to use one of them and what we want to do is we want to click on select transcendent skill pickup click on this and pick the selected stats now for pretty much all characters guys you want to look for the type of character that you're trying to level up so we want attack type right because ash is attack and so is shen wu and we want critical damage critical rate or attack these are the three best stats that you should always pull for now there are certain characters that have dot and if you get a certain type of dot for that character that can also be very useful but in this day and age critical rate critical damage and attack are really the best way to go if you get penetration that would be really good as well so what we want to do is we want to look for attack type we're going to hit sword pickups and we want to look for attack type and we want to look for attack uh, critical rate and critical damage so let me see if i can find one here hp here we go so here we got penetration critical rate critical damage attack these are the four best ones and when you want attack critical damage and critical rate are going to be the best period then penetration probably afterwards although that is debatable right and you can see that you have a six percent chance now of getting the stat that you want right and you'll use one of these lucky spinners every time that you do this so we click on we spend fifty thousand gold and we got attack tie fighter hp now this is fine but that doesn't increase anything so what we want to do is we want now we have to level it up so you're gonna level up with these materials right here all right and this can get really really expensive especially with best cards with this purple border all right you can also level up uh your regular gold border cards you can transcend them but i really wouldn't recommend that in all honesty because it isn't that difficult to get fest cards in this game so i wouldn't really worry about these cards with the purple border the fest cards as we call them they're they're not that difficult to actually get so i really wouldn't worry about transcending uh gold border cards although there may be times where it might be useful so now we got this at level two we have it leveled up we're gonna hit transcend again and we're gonna hit select this material and we're gonna do it again it keeps the stats that you already selected here and I'm just really praying that we get something good here. So we have critical damage. Now I'm going to keep this, right? I'm going to keep this. Every time you level one of these things up, you are going to get the opportunity to change it to a different stat. But critical damage, honestly, guys, is a very, very good stat to have, especially for these characters that we have now. So I'm going to keep it. Even if I got attack, I probably would keep that critical damage. Now, these characters have such insane CP 
that it really doesn't matter if I have critical damage. A lot of people, you know, look for critical rate and critical damage because they add such an insane amount of CP or combat power. But these characters have, you know, I mean, some of these characters have over 3 million CP. So you see here we have a choice between Attack to Fire Darkness, which is no good for Ash at all. And then we have Attack to Fire Critical Damage. Even if Ash had Darkness, I would still keep that critical damage. Again, guys, critical damage, critical rate, and attack are going to be the best way to go. But if you do get penetration, that still is very, very useful and will still help the damage quite a bit. Click on here, level up, and let's see what we can get here. Come on now, let's get lucky. Let's get something. Well, actually, we already did get lucky, right? So actually, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to stop. I already got the critical damage. We can just keep selecting critical damage afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to another card here and we're going to hit transcend we are going to we already have our materials selected here or the stats that we have selected and we're going to hope for critical rate critical damage and attack and we have shock that is absolutely useless for this character so we're going to go ahead and level up these skills all right you got to level them up first before you can transcend again and you can transcend these seven times and then after that you won't have to do all this leveling up that I am doing and this can get very very expensive and what I would recommend to everybody that does decide to transcend cards only transcend cards for your favorite characters guys only transcend them for your favorite because this requires quite a bit of materials now I'm a veteran player I've been playing this game ever since the global launch of it so I have a lot of materials to slap around and do this kind of stuff but for many of you out there I would never do it in fact on my free to play account I don't transcend cards. I never have, and I've always been able to do everything in the game. So you're probably asking, well, why would you want to transcend them? Well, everybody wants the most out of their characters, and everybody wants the most, especially out of their favorite characters. So doing this for them is absolutely worth it, I think, for a lot of players out there, because you're just, I mean, seriously, guys, this makes such a difference in your character's damage output, their power. And you can see this is balance type that's absolutely useless. So we're getting kind of screwed. We're not getting the stats that we want so we're just going to keep on leveling up until we can get a stat that we want now your hopes is after you level up these after you transcend them seven times the hope and dream is that you'll finally have the stat that you want and i can tell you right now if you don't have those lucky spinners this can get very very crazy i've actually you guys know from video videos in the past those of you that have been watching the channel for a long time know that you know you can roll these things 40 times and still never get the stat that you want, which is painful, guys. That is painful. So once again, we have Balanced Type Fighter, which is useless. Anytime you see decreased damage received, guys, that's just, it can be useful, I guess. But really, we don't need it. You really don't need that stat at all. It's really all about damage because these characters comes with, they come with such good survivability kits that you don't really have to worry too much about them dying. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Man, we are getting screwed. They will not give us anything for an attack type fighter. They keep giving us crap for uh, balance. So you see that six up there. We're going to be able to transcend this, uh, transcend this one more time. And then we won't, and then we won't have to level up anymore. Okay. The max stat on these purple border cards is level 60. And the max level or skill hands level is level seven. So let's do it again. Come on, man. Give me give me the stat that I want. Give me the stat that I want. Oh, you bastards. Oh, you bastards. And you can see the higher that you level this up, the more of a buff that you're actually getting. I mean, now this has jumped up to 11.8%. You usually don't have to worry about gold too much. You usually can farm plenty of gold in this game. It's it really, I don't think it bottlenecks anybody at all. I mean, you can look at the amount of gold that... I have it's a uh, pretty astronomical so we'll transcend this one more time and see what we can get here come on now come on we only have two lucky spinners and then it's gonna be down to that three percent crap come on come on come on come on oh my god look at this look at this now see for a character like Magaki this would be insane right or the next Elizabeth this would be amazing because they're balanced type fighters but I want attack I'm trying to level up attack. So now they're all fully maxed out with level 60, level 7. So now you can just keep transcending until you get the actual 
uh, stat that you want. Bleed damage. What the hell? Like, can we, can we, can we get a, a little something, something, something here? Can we get a little something? And really, whenever you do this, you really do want to make sure that you have a ridiculous amount of these cards. Like, seriously, you want to have a bunch of these things whenever you do this, because like I said, if you don't have them lucky spinners, you could do this 40, 50 times and never get what you want. Man, they're really, they're really jumping on that balance type fighter. I mean, I'm almost tempted to go ahead and take it because, I mean, we do have Elizabeth in the next update, but since I already have a level 90 Ash, I feel like attack would be just so much better because I'm really using the guy for everything. Oh, man. This really is painful, guys. And look at this. Look at this. Boom. Attack type fighter critical damage. Boom. 10.6% extra critical damage. So now let's jump over to this one and see what kind of luck we can get here. All right. Come on now. Defense fighter penetration. With that said, attack type fighter penetration, I'd be all right with that. That wouldn't be so bad at all. But it doesn't. So well, on to the next uh, transcendent. God, that artwork looks so awesome. You know, 35. All right, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Transcend. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. But you guys pretty much get the drift of how this works. And look at this. Increase attack, tap, fighter, attack by 1.8%. So now I can transcend this even further. Just keep that stat. And we're good to go. So now we're going to jump into this card. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And one, th one thing about having two, three PGs is that you can actually do this to two of them. You could get critical damage on both. You could get attack on both. And yes, they do stack on top of each other. So you really want to, you know, for your favorite fighter, you really want to transcend as many of the cards as you can, including option cards. If you do use those option cards on those characters, I'm just focusing on the set cards myself and the three PGs, but... Option cards are also also a good option. I mean, 10% critical damage can make a big difference in character's damage. Big time. Eh, boy, oh boy. That is uh, not what we want. That is not what we want at all. Hey, come on now. Let, let, hook it up now. Quit screwing me and give me something good. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, all right. Transcend. Boom. Ugh, defense fighter. Bummer. One thing that is nice, whenever you do get these guys leveled up, you get them all maxed out, then you can just constantly just keep transcending over and over and over, and you can use some of the cards that you have extra as just fodder. That's always kind of nice, right? Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Come on now. All right, here we go. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack. Uh, Well, I mean, it's for an attack type fighter, but it's uh, poison damage, which is uh, pretty useless for Ash. And I'm betting it's probably going to be useless for Shen Wu, too. I could be wrong. We never know. Right? We never know what oh, Shen Wu, what kind of dot he will have, if he will have any kind of dot at all. Although, I am expecting both Elizabeth and Shen Wu to have some kind of dot. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, come on now. Oh, balance type fighter. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. This is not what we want. This is not what we want, guys. This is not. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Luckily, though, we only have to do this one more time, and then we can just constantly transcend. That's what I hate. I just hate going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, it's kind of the thing that I dread about doing this. And the fact that you're going to use an insane amount of resources. So here's increased attack type fighter HP. That's good for a little extra survivability, uh, good for our CP, but no good for damage. And to be perfectly frank, guys, I think that's what most of us care about. We just want more damage output from our characters right we just want to see higher scores from them we just want things to be easier for them to be able to do easier to farm in the plug-in plan easier to get higher scores in guild raid not that that really matters but for our own satisfaction when we're playing with our favorite characters 
it does matter to them, to those players. All right, here we go. So now it's all about getting that attack stat. That attack stat. Nope. We got 43 more of these, man. If I can get this one set, we'll be good to go. Oh, boy. The pain, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The pain, the pain. And this is why, by the way, you only do this for your favorite fighters. <laughs> because if you try transcending cards for like every meta fighter that comes into the game, uh, it can get pretty old pretty quick, guys. But you could always transcend one set for attack type, one set for defensive type, one set for uh, balance type. And just make sure it's always critical damage, critical rate, uh, or attack. And you'll probably be pretty much good to go. But that's leveling up three sets, and that takes a lot a lot of resources oh my god look at that critical rate for balance type fighter oh my god and this is a 3pg so we definitely want uh for ash himself since he's the only character we can equip this on oh my god this is total trash my friends total trash the pain and i know a lot of you out there that actually have done this you know what this is like this is just absolute pain when you do this and this is why you want to make sure you have a lot of resources before you do do this oh my god freaking attack for defensive fighter not good for my man ash not good at all for him why why i see critical rate for defensive fighters i see critical damage for balanced high fighters where is some love for the attack type? Come on now. Come on, game. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to use all of these cards. Oh, God. Look at that. Defense fighter attack. Man. This is, uh, and this is, again, guys, this is why you just want to do this for your favorite characters. Maybe if I click on something other than an attack type fighter. Maybe they'll give me what I want for an attack tie fighter. Uh, starlight damage? I mean, no. The things like that, whenever it's dot, that's only applicable to the characters that have that specific dot. If they don't have that dot, then it's kind of trash. Oh, God. And this is what I'm telling you guys, man. You could do this over and over and over and over. And never get what you want. Look at this crap. Once again, defense fighter attack. What is that, three times now? I know twice for sure we've gotten that thing. Oh my lord, game, 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 game. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Look at that. Increase attack type fighter critical rate. Boom. We keep it. We are done. Now all I gotta do is level these up max them all out and we'll be good to go so that's pretty much how you transcend cars for any newer players out there maybe somebody that started just because of the ruby refund and really wasn't aware of how to transcend these cards so let me know if you've ever transcended cards or if there's a specific character you're transcending cards for and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m dd plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care